really cutting off my head, you know what? You'll love, don't care. Team, TBR, forgot what I was gonna say. It's fine. Hey, what is this? I was like, hey guys, <laughs> just, just fingers, you know, just fingers, just hands, just hands. I actually read this book yet, obviously, because I'm gonna read it. Like, what? What, Jan? What? The? Because you're reading it now. and I'm here with my summer booktubeathon TBR. I actually get to participate for once because I'm off this entire week of work so I can actually read which is super exciting. The booktubeathon, if you don't know, goes from August 3rd to August 9th. A total of seven challenges that I'm going to try to complete with this booktubeathon. So without further ado, let us get started! First challenge is super easy and it is read a book with blue on the cover. So I'm going with Cold Kiss by Amy Garvey. It's been on my shelf for about two years now so I figured it is very very blue so why not, you know, read it now for this challenge because it works for the challenge read a book with the author's last name the same first letter as your last name. My last name starts with a G, and Garvey starts with a G, and do you know what's really cool? I can also read Fateful for both of those challenges, because I mean it's blue, and it's by Claudia Gray, which starts with a G for Gray. Therefore, like two in one for both of them. So if I don't finish one, and I finish the other, I still completed both challenges, so I mean, I'm a good planner, clearly. There you go. Challenge is it read someone else's favorite book, and I'm going to go with If I Stay by Gail Foreman. It is a book that my cousin Eliason read, and I know she really enjoyed it. I don't know if it's her favorite book. I don't really think she has a favorite book because she doesn't read that much, but I know she really enjoyed it, so I'm going with it. It also came out recently, so I really want to read it so I can watch the movie. I know it's been out for a while, but I finally got the book, so why not read it, you know? Challenge is to read the last book you acquired, and that is If We Kiss by Rachel Vale. I just got this two days ago, actually. It's a really cute, fast read, so... I mean, I got, like, five books while I got this book, but this one seems like it'll be the fastest read, so I'm going with this one as my last book. We can pretend that it was the last one I paid for in the pile. Challenge is to read a book without letting go of it, and I'm going to read Speak by Lori Hulse Anderson. A very short book, so I figured it would be pretty easy to read in one sitting without letting go of it. So I'm excited to read this book because I've heard such amazing things about it. So hopefully I can do it without putting it down. Super excited. Next challenge is to read a book you really want to read, and I'm going with Anna and the French Kiss. I found it at my thrift store. You don't understand how excited I am to read this. It's by Stephanie Perkins. But like, honestly, I'm like, so excited. It's one of those like butter covers and you just like rub your face on it all the time. But this one is probably the most excited. I am, to pick up. Like, I'm, you don't understand. That wasn't even proper English, but that's how excited I am for this book. So, I did wait! And finally, the seventh challenge is to read seven books, so I picked this book is Dead to You by Lisa McMahon. It seems really short, so hopefully it's quick. And then I would have completed all seven challenges, which would be super cool because I've never actually done that in a readathon, ever completed all of the challenges. So we'll see if I can do it this time. So that was my book tubeathon TBR. I'm very excited to read all of these books. Hopefully I get through them all. I hope you guys have a great reading week and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Okay, bye. Ah, the fast challenge, yep. Leak by a very long name. Lori Prizzy. Prizzy, yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh.